Space. Today is Monday, October 19th, 2020. The weather today will be sunny and warm. Today's lunch choice and chicken tenders now to Dr. Shares for the morning meeting. Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. Today is, uh, we have a couple good things happening today. First of all, we have a book talk. So Miss R- Richards is going to be doing a book talk on a book called Goonie Bird Green. That sounds like a really fun book. And then we're going to be recognizing someone in our school that got a really special award. So listen up because we got some really fun news today. Hi, this is Miss Richards again. I'm here to do a book talk about Lois Lowry's book, Goonie Bird Green. It's kind of an interesting title, isn't it? Well, Goonie Bird Green is an interesting character. I'm going to read the very beginning for you. There was a new student in the Water Tower Elementary School. She arrived in October after the first month of school had already passed. She opened the second grade classroom door at 10 o'clock in the Wednesday morning and appeared there all alone without even a mother to introduce her. She was wearing pajamas and cowboy boots and was holding a dictionary and a lunchbox. Hello, Mrs. Pigeon, the second grade teacher said. We're in the middle of our spelling lesson. Good, said the girl in the pajamas. I brought my dictionary. Where's my desk? Who are you? Mrs. Pigeon asked politely. I'm your new student. My name is Goonie Bird Green. That's green with an E at the end. And I just moved here from China. I want a desk smack in the middle of the room because I like to be right smack in the middle of everything. Well, Goonie Bird Green, again, is a very interesting girl. She wears interesting clothes, like cowboy boots and tutus. She eats interesting lunches, like a few grapes and sushi. And she tells very interesting stories about herself. For example, a story titled, How Goonie Bird Came From China on a Flying Carpet. And all of Goonie Bird's stories are completely true. If you would like to learn more about Goonie Bird, read Goonie Bird Green by Lois Lowry. Thank you, bye-bye. Okay, I have something very special to announce. This is Henley, and we want to say congratulations to Henley for getting third place in the Camp Lejeune Fire Safety Coloring Contest. So of all the entries in Camp Lejeune, you got third place. So we're going to show a video of you accepting your award. Here we go. Okay, good job. Did you like getting the award? Yes. Okay, good. Was the uh, the fire dog there? Um, yes. Okay, yeah, I saw, what's his name? Sparky. Sparky, that's right, Sparky the fire dog, okay. So, congratulations, we're really proud of you. Thanks. So, can you help me say the mission statement? Okay, here we go. JPS Kids Soar Higher, super problem solvers, outstanding writers, accomplished readers, ready for success. And now our success equation, and I think you did this and that's probably why you got third place in the coloring contest, didn't you? Okay, let's say it. Hard work plus resiliency plus teamwork equals success. Have a good day for me and Henley. Bye-bye. Are you all ready to dance? Yeah. All right, go. Go.